Hello, Stan Arthur here with another super quick uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5 tutorial. This uh, one comes from the Adobe uh, forum, the uh, Premiere Pro forum as most of them do. This is BK Boy 2 k 5 says uh, he wants to know how slow motion works in Premiere Pro. Well, real quickly, BK Boy, I'm going to show you three different ways that it works in Premiere Pro. Okay, first of all, I've got this clip here. It's not going to play very smoothly. Here, let's take a look because I, yeah, it's an MP4 and it's a, not a very powerful system here. Okay, smooth enough. But that's something that I made that I stabilized in the new warp stabilizer, and it looks really, really cool. Anyway, three three quick ways to do slow motion. Uh, I'm going to hit the minus key here to kind of zoom out on this clip a little bit here. Okay, uh, one one quick way. If I right click on on the on the clip in the timeline, I can go to uh, speed duration, and here I can either uh, adjust it by percentage or by actual duration. If I make the duration longer, obviously it's going to make it's going to make it in, it's going to slow it up. Click OK, and uh, there you go. And you can see now I've got a red bar there, but you can see it's it's quite a bit slower now. Okay, I'm going to undo that. Control Z, and wait for it. There we go. Okay, another way to do it is to um, use the rate stretch tool. Now that's up in your toolbar, the rate stretch tool here. It's also, you can, the keyboard shortcut is also X. That'll allow you to just grab and drag the clip as long as you want it to be uh, slowed down. Okay, going back to my selection tool, right clicking, I'm going to choose frame blend here so I can get the in betweens there. If I hit play now, it's probably not going to play very quickly, but uh, let's play very well. Let's see. Uh, let's, yeah, there it goes. See, that also stretches out the audio, which is cool. Okay, and we're going to go Control Z to get rid of that. I'm going to show you the third way to do it in just a second. Let's see. Wait for it here. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit the plus key to zoom in on this just a little bit. There's a third way. Where, right where it says opacity on the clip and you're a little twirly here, I'm going to go down to time remapping speed. Okay, now in order to do this, I'm going to stretch this out a little bit so I can see it a lot better, and I'm going to zoom in on it with the plus key one more time. Now this is good for speed ramping, and that is if you want to start at one speed and then slow it down to a speed. This is good for like BMX jumps and things like that, or motorcycle jumps or things like, or, or uh, athletic, you know, or like a track and field stuff where a guy does the high jump and as soon as he, as soon as he plants his feet and goes up, then it suddenly slows down and all that, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that here. Works with keyframes, much like audio does, where you find the place where you want it to slow down. You just uh, hit the control key and it, while holding the control key down with your selection tool, then you just uh, click on it and it will make a keyframe. Well, it's it's kind of like a keyframe. It looks like that. And then we're going to find the point uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and slow it down now. If we pull our rubber band down now, we slow it down as much as we want, all the way down to zero, which will give, give us a still frame. We slow it down to like 30% uh, uh, or so and let go. You can see the cl clip's going to get much longer. Now, this, the audio does not work with this. I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to hold the Alt key and cl click on it, and that's going to select it and, by itself, and then I hit Delete, and I'll get rid of that. And let's see now. I can use this tool here to make it ramp down. I can use uh, the little handles here to make this ramp down to 30 percent and this will also give me a little uh, Bezier action here if I if I so desire. There we go. See now when we play it, if it'll play, fingers crossed, let's see. Watch up here and then it slows down quite a bit to about 30 percent. It's real real jerky right now but that's just because I don't have the system optimized to play this MP4 file. Anyway, so that's three quick ways of doing slow motion in Premiere Pro. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.